this media is brought to you by Polyscope. 28% of employees pass off AI work as their own. Plus, Google delays Gemini AI. Good morning, I'm Cassie Bishop. And I'm Ray Turing. This is AI Daily for Friday, November 17th, 2023. Breaking news in AI, curated by humans. Here are your top stories. Google's Gemini AI. Delayed launch puts catch-up efforts in jeopardy. Google is facing a setback as it delays the release of its conversational AI, Gemini, in its bid to compete with OpenAI and Elon Musk's Grok. The company had initially promised access to Gemini to select cloud customers and business partners by November, but it has now informed them to expect it in the first quarter of next year. This delay comes at an inconvenient time for Google, as its cloud sales growth has slowed compared to Microsoft's which has been successful in selling OpenAI's technology to its own customers. Employees caught red-handed. AI revealed as the real genius behind their work. A recent survey conducted by Salesforce reveals that many employees are using generative AI without proper authorization in the workplace. The survey found that 28% of workers are utilizing generative AI, with more than half of them doing so without approval. Additionally, 32% of participants plan to start using generative AI in the near future. The data highlights the urgent need for companies to establish clear policies regarding the use of AI tools in order to mitigate potential risks and protect their businesses. The survey also shows that generative AI improves employee productivity and engagement, leading to increased job satisfaction. However, the lack of guidelines and training is causing unethical behavior, with employees passing off AI-generated work as their own. GraphCast, the AI weatherman that predicts extreme weather events. Google DeepMind has developed an AI called GraphCast that can deliver 10-day weather forecasts with unparalleled speed and accuracy. Unlike traditional physics-based models, GraphCast analyzes patterns in historical weather data to make predictions. By training on almost four decades of data and using a unique divide-and-conquer strategy, the AI has demonstrated its ability to forecast extreme weather events well in advance. Its predictions could potentially save lives and give communities valuable time to prepare for upcoming weather phenomena. Generative AI passes legal ethics exam with flying colors. In a groundbreaking development, Generative AI has once again proven its capabilities by passing the Multi-State Professional Responsibility Examination, MPRE, an essential test for aspiring lawyers. Researchers at Legal On Technologies conducted the exam, which measures knowledge of professional conduct rules using leading LLMs, including OpenAI's GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, Anthropic's Claude 2 and Google's Palm 2 Bison. GPT-4 outperformed all others, correctly answering 74% of the questions and surpassing the average human test taker. This achievement is considered a milestone in legal technology, as AI demonstrates its potential to support ethical decision-making while emphasizing that ultimate responsibility still rests with legal professionals. Generative AI frees up 40% of working hours. Accenture's European technology leader, John Willem van den Bremen, shared his thoughts on the potential of generative AI to revolutionize the workplace during a recent Workday conference in Barcelona. Van den Bremen predicts that this technology has the potential to free up approximately 40% of working hours across industries enabling employees to focus on other important tasks. As companies explore the possibilities offered by generative AI, traditional job roles could undergo significant transformations. Van den Bremen suggests a future where computer programmers would transition from writing programs to validating programs developed by AI. This emphasizes how the rise of AI is prompting organizations to reimagine the responsibilities and tasks assigned to their workforce. This has been Ray Turing and Cassie Bishop for AI Daily. For links to these stories and more, 
Visit us at AIDaily.us and subscribe today.